Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk a bit about a router. Uh, in particular, how to remotely access the router system administrative web pages remotely, right? Uh, so you could be sitting in, say, Jamaica and your home is in, say, uh, Minneapolis and you want to access your router for some reason, um, you can do it. Uh, most of the router have that capability today. So let me demonstrate how to do it. So normally uh, to go to a router, you enter 192.168 and the last two digits or octets are whatever you predefine and set. So for my router, it is 2.1. So this is my router settings. I'm at home right now, so I can freely access anything I want. But to enable a uh, uh, router access you have to enable uh, remote management functionality now my router here is a linksys wrt 54 gs i know it is an old router but any modern router has the same capability and function uh, to the old router so you know to access that uh, you would normally go to administrator right most of the modern router the remote access management tool is on the administrator and then uh, and it's right here. You just enable it, okay? And note the port number. My port number is 8080. So after that, once you enable it, save the settings. And after it does its thing, it's gonna come back again. So it shows as enable. So, um, so I've got a mobile phone on the side here. So I'm going to disable my uh, Wi-Fi. Disable. Sorry, guys, it's a bit slow because it's going through TeamView uh, uh, support. So you can see it's an LTE network now. So I'm going to open a browser. And I need to enter the IP address of the modem uh, followed by 8080. So you know to find my IP address of the modem. I go to my trusty old Google and type what is my IP address. <clears throat> okay, so this is my IP address. So I'm going to have to punch this uh, right at the address area. So it's going to be uh, 68, 146, 150, 238, 80, 80. And when you hit enter, good. So the links is... Uh, uh, administrative windows get uploaded so yeah so this is how you do it but um, 9 out of 10 times or 10 out of 10 out of 10 times you don't own this IP address this IP address is owned by a service provider so they have the free reign to change this IP address <clears throat> so how do you mitigate this so the way to mitigate this would be to um, would be to go and uh, enable your DDNS uh, functionality. So on my Linksys again, uh, on this router, <clears throat> my DDNS setup is in setup and DDNS. So before you start your DDNS, um, you're gonna have to register uh, with another um, DNS server somewhere. So I'm gonna use a DNS server called uh, noip.com. You're gonna have to sign up and then log in. I've already got uh, my account here, so I'm gonna log in here. Log in myself. Okay, ignore that for a sec. And I'm gonna create myself a new host name. I'm gonna call it, you can call it anything you want, XYBER2468, right? So your host name will be XYBER, I'm sorry, XYBER2468 dot ddns.net that's that'll be your complete host name you hit create as you can see it's been created so <clears throat> the next thing you have to do is uh, go back to your uh, router settings here uh, my router is old so i only have a few selection here so i'm gonna go uh, try this one here once i select that uh, over here you enter your user credential whatever your no IP uh, user credential is I know it does say tzo.com but for this router it works I'm pretty sure in the modern uh, all the modern router works too so it's gonna be 
ddns.net ddns.net right so and you hit save settings so once it's successful um, the uh, people say updating dns uh, ddns status right so <clears throat> i'm going to go back to my mobile phone just going to close this session here just going to say just google you know refresh it so i'm still on lt network here you can see and my wi-fi is turned off right so uh now over here you type x y b e r two four six eight dot d d n s dot net and you're gonna have to say colon eighty eighty just like that and hit go so now you can access your router again <clears throat> i'm going to come back after I enter my uh, password to the router okay i've just entered my password i'm going to sign in and there you go so you can actually use a, a dns name to actually log in now so even if they even if your service provider were to change your name uh, sorry your ip address you still you still will be able to access your router anywhere around the world so that's how you do it so i have a few other uh, 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 router attached to my computer here so i'm going to show you where the uh, ddns and the uh, remote management tool are located on this router so i'm going to start off with uh, the very first one um, i'm going to switch over my ssid to another router this is a d-link router that i have okay very good so i don't have an internet connection to this but just for demonstration purpose um, i'm going to show you where the uh, setup is so uh, that's that's my gateway here so i've set up a uh, a few uh, settings here. it doesn't have internet connection but but in order to enable your uh, remote uh, um, management tool you're going to have to go to management and then you got to go to system admin and then after that you got to go to the advanced setting here and then you got to enable the remote management like that and keep in mind you can change your port number any way you want uh, on my uh, link says it was 8080 over here is 8081 then after that you save it so once that is done then uh, in order to set up your uh, ddns you would go to features and then you go to dynamic dns just like that so you just enable it give a host name right could be anything mine was uh, ddns.net and my username was Um, and then you enter your password here and then you hit save and then your dynamic DNS will start working All right so this is uh, D-Link I've got another um, I've got another router attached to uh, my network here I'm gonna switch over the SSID to the other network this one is a Acer um, Acer Router, uh, Azus, sorry, not Acer, Azus router. So Azus does it a bit differently. Um, you just have to uh, uh, enable the DDNS and everything get taken care of. So the way to enable DDNS will be you go to WAN right here, and then you go to DDNS here, and just say yes. And then register with Azus, and then you're off the races. So I hope uh, all these uh, various router uh, demonstration helps. Anyway, uh, you have a good day.